well, Lewis, I dig this car. You know, I was I was cruising by and I go, oh, okay, you know, 67 wagon, kind of country squire. And I went, huh. And I stopped and I kind of started looking at it. And, and it's like, the more I looked at it, the more I saw it. It's uh, a sleeper. It is a sleeper. With a lot of Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> did you build this? Um, I did some of the work, but a local shop, um, GCD Auto, um, uh -huh. did, did most of the work for this. Uh, I don't have this type of a capacity. I can, I'm a good grinder when I weld, but I, the design and the, uh, the look was mine. So uh, was this buffed down or was this put on, the, you know, these rub throughs? This is uh, an Arizona car, so it's natural patina. We just cleared it. Just oh, knocked really? off so, some I mean, of the you, ugly. So, so you, you basically, you know, buffed down to the primer? Buffed down to the primer in some areas. This was an accident of mine here. I left it hold, hold open and it slammed while I was ah. test driving it. So that was a repair, but it blended in well. But uh, otherwise, it's a natural patina car, just cleared. Wow. No so, rust. And I like, the, I, uh, I like the fog lights, kind of a, you know, kind of a period accessory. Yeah, I wanted to keep the retro look, like the 60s gaudy vibe as well. Yeah, like you, with the gold and stuff. Well, yeah, and you got that going on with the wheels, kind yes, of. Yes, yes, so the gaudy's good. Gaudy's, gaudy's good. good in this look, yes. <laughs> and the gold uh, Vogue stripe on the wheel. What are the wheels? The, the wheels themselves are uh, BG old school wheels yeah. by Vox. Uh -huh. And then I dolled them up with the spinners, and then I, I had a gentleman make the center caps with the um, Country Squire uh, head on. Oh, yeah. I, I, I had noticed that at first. That's really good. Cool. Uh, pretty serious brakes, too, all yeah, around. Yeah, Willwood six piston, 13 inch rotor. Oh. So it, it, it has a hoot, it, it moves. It's yeah. It's about uh, 660 at the, at the uh, wheels. Oh. A supercharged motor, so it moves. So, so it does move. So you want brakes? Yeah, I can get grocery pretty quick. <laughs> but I, and, you know, so I was cruising around it and, and I get closer to it and I see this interior and I'm like, man, this really works. It, it's like a period looking fabric, but is what is it? It's a uh, fabric that the upholsterer, the same place I mentioned before, yeah. had and um, I used it because it, it's period correct and it looks like horse bits, which kind of goes with the horse motif right. for the Country Squire. What are the seats? Seats are out of uh, 2015 Camaro. They were reshaped to look old, so I got power seats, heated seats. <laughs> Seriously. And the, um, we continue with the Ford language up front, so that's a 67 Mustang gauge cluster. Which really in. works there, because these were all, this was a rectangular It was setup. a rectangular with no information, so I used the code of digital gauges in there. So I have modern uh, accoutrements with information, but it's, uh, it, it's the period. Yeah, I mean, the dash looks great too. The shop I mentioned, they, they built a fiberglass mold, uh, metal and fiberglass, to blend that in. So we, we started with an original 67 gauge cluster. Yeah and then it was blended in to look uh, factory. And then some pieces down there were uh, CNC'd to continue Jeez. for the headlights and stuff control. And the console? Console was custom made. Uh, this was the bench seat car. So it was a custom made console with the um, air conditioning control up front. Kind of continues with that round theme. Yeah, and I mean, the there's, shifter. there's a ton of work in this car. It's a lot of work. It's, there's a lot of work. This is actually a full build, but to look like a sleeper. So it's, <laughs> it's an innocent looking car. So are these the original door handles too? They, they, are they the flip up? Uh, yeah, that's the the original hardware is on the doors. Because um, that's what they do, right? They flip out and then? They flip up and then up, yeah. Yeah, so that work? yeah like that, boom. Yes, and then um, we use that and then we use the uh, Jag XJS mirrors because oh, they kind of yeah. fit that design language. I would not have I would not have guessed that. XJS, huh? XJS, wow. yeah, so it kind of fits that Ford yeah. language of that period. Oh man, it's it's. It's really amazing, and again, Thank it's you. just such a sleeper. Thank you. Yeah, that, that it is, and it has the um, you know I have the vibe going with the uh, tiki, <laughs> of course, and, and it has the magic tailgate. It, 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 this is a, does it work? Yes, it does. This is so amazing. So it opens up this way. Yeah, which is cool. That's cool. And then it opens up this way. I mean. That has got to be one of the most over-engineered uh, tailgates. I'm still amazed by it. <laughs> I am too. I know. I'm still amazed by it. And it works. It, it, yes, it, it works. works. I, and it makes loading easy. And down here, I have that secret compartment because it doesn't oh. have the seat. So that's where I keep all my uh, show stuff. stuff. Yeah. 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 So it works out. Oh, uh, that's just, and uh, what is this, on pistons there? Or? It's on, yeah, on shocks, those oh, hood okay. shocks. Right, right. It's a wooden platform. Uh, so it, it works well with the, with the look. All I need is the uh, surfboard. So it's, it's badge 390, but you're pumping 600 some horsepower. You have something else under there. Let's look. Yeah, we can look at that. Yeah, that's not, that's not a 390. No, it's an LS2, <laughs> supercharged LS2. Really? We had a Dyno 2 and our sequence was fuel injected and it was around 640, 660 at the, at the wheels. Golly. And uh, so putting a, a Chev engine in this Ford, how was the fit? 
It fit perfect. That's why no we went kidding. with this engine. Yeah, uh, it came out of a 2005 GTO, so I got the transmission, oh, okay. and everything with it. Yeah, yeah. Everything was built to handle the power, but it was uh, it was an easy fit. That's why I did the LS, and there's a great aftermarket support for this type of swap. And uh, what's this little baby here? This is a Torque Storm supercharger. Jeez, um, kind of subtle there. Isn't it? Yeah, I did, I did a little more sugar to the coffee. <laughs> It's sweet. It's Let sweet. Me tell you, it's sweet. It's sweet. <laughs> wow. Closer back up, Lewis. This is, I mean, this is truly a sleeper because I almost went by it and then I just, you know, I just got drawn it into it. It caught you in, right? Totally, totally. And I'm so yes. glad it did because it is truly sweet. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great I work, appreciate Lewis. it. Great Thank cool. you.